I am now in front of the headquarters of Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, the operator of Japan's crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Crowds of Japanese protesters are gathering on Wednesday, the day after the IAEA published its final safety review report on Japan's plan to release nuclear contaminated water from the power plant into the sea. They're here to oppose the ocean discharge and to express their doubt and concern over the report's reliability. On Tuesday, the IAEA published its final comprehensive safety review report on Japan's ocean discharge plan after IAEA Director General Rafael Grossi handed over the report to Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida in Tokyo as the former kicked off a four-day visit to Japan at the invitation of Japan's foreign ministry. On Tuesday afternoon, Grossi stressed at a press conference held at the Japan National Press Club in Tokyo following the IAEA report delivery that the option to discharge the nuclear waste water into the sea is one made by the Japanese government. The IAEA will have a continued presence at the Fukushima Daiichi plant site to review, monitor, and assess the discharge activities for decades to come, Grossi said. The statement of which was repeated as the chief on Wednesday visited Fukushima to look at the water treatment facilities completed last month at the crippled plant. Japan's government is preparing to begin to carry out its wastewater dumping plan as early as August. Multiple local media outlets reported on Wednesday 